tell us who you are, hmm. briefly about yourself. Uh, we've heard so much about lawyer Debugri. We've heard you on radio, we've heard you on TV. Who is lawyer, lawyer Debugri? Well, uh, John Aparbon Debugri, my full name. Um, I was born some almost 71 years ago at a village called Timonde. It's about uh, six kilometers from Zebila to um, Ndebugri, Azasi, and uh, Atumpaku, Abugri, from Bugori. Also about six, five kilometers from Zebila to the south. Mm. Timonde is to the east of Zebila. Now I went to school rather late when I was about nine years old. That, those days it wasn't fashionable to go to school. I had to defy my, my father and go to school at about the age of nine, Tanga Primary School. I was there up to uh, 1964 and went to Zebula Middle Boarding School uh, to Form 1. Those days, we used to go to secondary school after writing the common entrance examination. And uh, it was only uh, pupils or students in Form 2 up to Form 4. The middle school had Form 1 up to Form 4. Then you will graduate and get what we call the middle school leaving certificate. If you were in Form 2, Form 3, Form 4, you could write the common entrance examination. Form 1s were not allowed to write the examination. Mm. But in my case, the head, the, the head teacher of the school were from Sapelga, Mr. Ayenga Ayagawa, was so impressed with me that he, he said that if I, I sat the common entrance in Form 1 and I did not pass, he would quit teaching. So he uh, applied to the examination authorities to give me a special dispensation Which to write the exam by in Form 1. Then it was not allowed for... It wasn't one. allowed for Form 1s to write. It was exceptional. So he managed to convince them to allow me to write the exam. And I wrote the exam and I passed. And uh, I was admitted to Navrongo uh, school, we used to call it so, now Navarongo Senior High School. I was, I also sat for a separate entrance examination for Notre Dame Senior High School, oh. Notre Dame Secondary Seminary, minor seminary at that time, and I passed to go there too. And I was also admitted at uh, Ghana Secondary School. Ghana Senior High School now. Yeah. It used to be called Ghana College. So from Navrongo? Nav no, I, that was all, while in the Form 1, I had passed to go to all these. Okay. So I had to make a choice. If I had gone to Notre Dame by now, I would have been close to a Pope or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I, I chose to go to Navrongo Senior High okay. School. So I went there in 1965. Yes. Oh. We used to start in September, September 65, and then I completed in 1970. Uh, strange, interestingly, I, you know, those days we were doing school certificate mm. or GCE O level. Yeah. The grading was one, two, three, up to nine. Nine was fail, then one was excellent, two, and so on. I did science, and I, uh, for the first time, <coughs> not just in Navrongo school, but in the whole of the north, mm. I had five grade ones and two grade twos. For the first time in the history of Ghana? Yes, no, in the history, history of, of the north. The north. Okay. Yes. And uh, the nationwide, I was third in the country. Uh, the, the first was from Prempe College. Mm. And the second was from uh, this school in uh, Volta region. Uh, oh, there's a popular of, school. Of John? Huh? John, uh, is it? Um, uh, no, Volta region. Uh, it is in, 
Oh, it is, is it in Ho? No, no, it's not in Ho. Uh, I will get the name. The second person was from there, and I was third nationwide. So I, uh, that is sometimes my problem. When I have decided on something, I, I become too recalcitrant about it, maybe. Because in from five, we were asked to choose which schools you would like to go to sixth, to pursue your sixth form course, mm. to prepare you to go to university. Now, many of the good students up north here chose schools like Achimota. Achimota School was about the best school in Ghana at that time. Achimota School and the more, po more fancy pin down south, you know. But, and you are three choices, first choice, second choice, third choice. Mm. And I chose Nabrongo Secondary School three times. First choice, Nabrongo Secondary School. Second choice, Nabrongo Secondary School. Third choice, Nabrongo <laughs> Secondary School. So I, I got these grades, and uh, people expected me to have gone to uh, Achimota, Achimota School. Yeah. But I remained in Nabrongo School. And that was my undoing, because then, you know, among my colleague students, even among my, my teachers, you know, jealousy and things came in. And the question of who will be senior prefect and people were jostling. I was interested in those things, but people were doing all these things. And then it culminated in uh, some disturbance in the school. Mm. When uh, the students rose up against certain math practices in the school, Okay. Now I wasn't involved in the I wasn't involved in the planning of this of this mm. this insurrection if I may call it so. But somehow they you know imposed the leadership of the whole movement on me. I remember that I had gone out with a friend of mine who later on became the uh, deputy senior prefect and later senior prefect really Mumuni. Mm. We had gone uh, to the village to buy some things to come and make tea. I had some uh, stove, this pumping stove with kerosene. And we had, we returned and did the tea. And then we were going, we were doing exams that week. We went to the classroom to prepare for our next paper. We got to our classroom, they had written on the floor, on the floor in front of the classroom, no exam, no exam, no exam. We are meeting at the uh, uh, assembly hall. So we, we were taken aback, but we went there. These were in lower six. Mm. So we went to the assembly hall. Then speeches were made. We were at the back. We were not involved in this. Thing. Speeches were made. They said, OK, let's march to a headmaster's office and present a petition to him. He, then we all went there. And the headmaster wasn't around. The assistant headmaster was to take the petition. He snubbed us and, you know, aggravated matters. Mm. So we left him and we decided to march to Navrongo town to present the petition, petition to the chairman of the board of governors, mm. who also then was the chairman of the municipal council, now municipal assembly. We, it was on our way there just around where UDS has their uh, campus. Uh, campus now. That uh, I, something told me that, oh, but you can't be marching without knowing what you are marching about. So I just approached the guy, the, gen, the young stu man, the student who was holding, my colleague who was holding the, the, <laughs> the petition written in rough hand, to have a look so that if I'm asked why we are marching, I will be able to explain. Okay. After I read the thing and wanted to give it back to him, he refused to accept it. <laughs> so now I became the leader like that. We got to the place, police had been deployed, and then they said we couldn't all go to see the uh, chairman, and that they needed six of us. Everybody down started shouting day in, day in, day in, day. That's what I became the leader of the movement. So I couldn't run away from it. The paper was in my hand. So they pushed me plus five others, and we went in and handed over the thing. And then we went back to the school. Then things escalated. Somebody in the night 
you know, wrote some things, placards, mm. or what, and pasted them all over the school, threatening the headmaster. And these, our teachers were all white. Mm. Most of them, about 90% white. They were white. Yeah. They were Scottish people. So... Those days they were called head headmasters. No, I mean, they were t I, I mean, the headmaster was uh, white. Okay. Yeah. The assistant headmaster was uh, Dagati, okay. Mr. Tater. Mo most of the teachers were from Scotland, okay. the teachers. So they wrote, this man wrote, I, he, he happened to be my, my, my small uncle. He came in the night and showed the, the posters to me. And I warned him that, look, if you are caught, you will not only be sacked from the school, they are likely to send you to court and your, your life will be derailed. So please, either if you want to do it, make sure that you are not caught. And he went and he laughed uh, and went and did it. Went and pasted the whole thing. When we woke up in the morning, it was all over the place. So things escalated. The white people became very apprehensive, very frightened. So they went and brought police. And, BN, and then special branch people. Mm. At that time, the intelligence wing was called special branch. And they came and in the afternoon called all of us, lower six formers, mm. to the library and gave us blank sheets of paper and pencils to write our names. They were trying to find out who the person who wrote. wrote. Okay. They were trying to do some forensic uh, mm. this thing. So they gave us these things and said we should write our names. And I raised my hand up. They said yes. I said no, we are not, I, do, I will not write. Because there is some order in this school. If you want to do something in this school by, in, in order, either you start from form one to upper six, mm. or you start from upper six to, to form, form one. one. There's no way you start in the middle. We are in the middle, we are lower six. There's someone, there are people in upper six. There are people in from one. So if you start from one, from one, it comes to our ten, we will okay, write. Yeah. But for you to start from us, 